Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Joanne again from Tai Digi Kimono. As you've probably seen in the title, we're going to actually um, solve the issue of too long kimono and therefore having a too long or a shorty. Now, I have to use one of my hickeys really to do this because I technically don't have any kimono that are too long for me. This one is too short to wear uh, with a trail, but it's too long to wear with a shorty. So it's kind of the perfect for this tutorial. Now, basically, what you all all that you need is an extra crochet hemo because uh, after you made the all showy, you tied up your colors. You want to raise up the fabric uh, that is basically making up the all showy, so that uh, in the end, when you've tied your obi, the all showy is not too long. Well, if, as I said, for me, I don't have any kimono that are technically too long. One of my men's kimono, well, two actually, but one is nearly the ideal length, just about two or three centimeters too long. As for women's, I just don't have them, but however, I have a couple of friends who I know are on the smaller side and the kimono that they like are too long. So usually they end up having a too long or a shoy and not knowing how to deal with so much extra fabric. On the plus side though, this extra fabric can double up as padding, so if you're not a Great, if you're much too fan of padding, this is kind of a great substitute for that. But each problem has its perks, I guess. So yeah, like I said, all you need for this is an extra crochet hemo, and otherwise, otherwise you're really good to go. So yeah, let's get on with the actual tutorial. Okay, first off, you wanna raise the hem as you would normally do. Then then grab your first cot hemo. Now the trick is, is not to actually put it as high as you can. Just place it where you would normally do it or place it. Then just continue to make your or shorty as usual. Now you can see there's actually quite a lot of fabric, and yeah, this is what we will solve in just a minute. And tie off your colors like you would normally do. As you can see, the oar shorty is way too long. And this is where the third hemo comes into place. What I want to do is I just grab the side seam here and the collar here and then pull it up as much as I need it to. And what I do is tie this off first on what I do in the back. Same thing. Now obviously it's not going to be as neat, but it will be hidden anyway. So you can see the Osho is much much shorter and this will provide as extra padding. Uh, preferably what you prefer, you can pull it down, let it stay up, that's totally up to you. And after this you can actually just continue with tying the obi as you would normally do. So yeah, I uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye guys!